Hello from the island of Flores. For the last two weeks, we have been exploring this amazing archipelago of the Atlantic, together with our little bundle of joy, Apollo. In Flores, we were greeted with incredible waterfalls, lakes in every color and shape, and the incredible local food, mostly consisting of octopus. But first, a little bit of a reality check. We got a little diaper change situation in the Azores. I mean, if you want your diaper changed, this is the view to do it with, right, honey? Like, there's much worse places to yes, need changing. Hello, little man! Hello, little man! He's being a trooper. This is how you have to do it sometimes, you know? If you want to be a travel family. Hi, baby! Oh, somebody's unhappy. Okay. Hi, little Somebody man. wants to see the view. To be happy. Okay. Let's go, little man. On our first day on the island, and with a very kind help of Joaquim, we visited the spectacular lakes that Flores is known for. We decided to take it slow, have no plan, and just trust in our local guide to show us the best of what he thinks is best. We have seen them all today, yeah? Yes. What's your favorite lake, honey? Uh, I like the last one. Okay. The one with the darker, the darker blue. This? Oh, no, sorry, no, the, the one... Um, what was the, 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 the two blue. between? Yeah, the, the one with the, the waterfall that we looked from the one side. And then... We just got back from the tour of the island essentially. We literally saw every single lake and this is just some traveling reality for you. We had to go several hours without water which is very very uncomfortable in the best of times but when you're breastfeeding it's essentially just I don't I don't even know how to call it beyond tough. And this little guy, right here, you can see his little foot, he's very anxious today. Hi honey! Hi darling! Super cheers to me, little man. Aww, sleepy my baby. Where are we going today honey? Um, Hopefully. we are going, we were going to attempt to get to Corvo Island, Yes. which is the smallest island of the Azores um, group, so it's a bit of a mission to get there, um, and so we're going to try to get a little zodiac boat over, we're going to make sure it's safe for the little man, and, uh, and that's what we're going to do darling. This is tutor before coffee. Well, I've had two this morning, but it, it's just, not uh, a tutor level of coffee. No. Okay, so we have just arrived in Santa Cruz, which is the main uh, town of the island, of this island. And the mission of today is to get to Corvo, as you heard from Tudor. We're having um, a bit of a pick-me-up breakfast at uh, the local coffee shop. And um, this is by far the most quaint little place we've been so far. Everyone is just so welcoming. Um, although obviously the situation globally is really hard for hospitality and the tourism industry everyone here has been so welcoming nothing like i expected because a few of the other places we've been to to be fair people are scared especially when you're in a small island and there's obviously no hospitals and not a lot of infrastructure but um, people are staying safe and people are going literally above and beyond to say hey we we want the tourists back and this literally warms my heart. It's 
Ah, <sighs> so nice. But yeah, this little town is great. We're going to explore it possibly today if we're not allowed on the boat. But if we are allowed on the boat, we're going to Corvo and heading back here for a little while. So I'll keep you updated. The plan to take a newborn um, on a tiny boat was just a bit optimistic so instead we're going to be hitting the museums and all kinds of other sites that the area has to offer. Let's go! So instead of heading to Corvo we decided to see the local museum and those little museums are always so interesting because um, they have so much information about such a small place that you get to see with a new set of eyes in a way to see what's important in the history, to see what uh, were the important events in the history of the island and from what we understand so far in the Azores uh, a lot of its history is inextricably tied with the geography and the geological events that take place in such volcanic islands one of the main themes of every little museum in the island so far has been the emigration to the United States at some point or several points throughout the Azorean history as it might be hard to believe because we are the westernmost point of Europe but we're actually almost halfway through to the States and Canada and sometimes the globe is a little bit misleading because you think you're much closer to Europe than you are to the other side of the Atlantic but it's actually almost halfway there, so... Last stop for today. Hello. The westernmost, we believe, restaurant in the world. This little rock behind us. In Europe. The westernmost in Europe. That's right. AKA the world. Civilization. Civilization. This rock right there is officially the westernmost point in Europe. I'm and we're here. I'm uh, touching you. You are... Political jokes aside, we're Sorry. hungry. Yeah. Little man was hungry. Yeah. We're and hungry. it smells really good. I can it smell really garlic good. butter. And a lot of cool waterfalls on the background, which I'll show you later. So, let's do oh, this. Oh, some ruins up there. Oh, it's so neat. Let's go get some check it out. Our last day in Flores, we decided to explore the most famous site of the island, the incredible waterfalls of Fajá Grand. Unfortunately, we didn't account for one little thing. So, because we were a little bit uh, tired bunnies yesterday, but the weather was nice, we're heading to the waterfalls today. Hello, my love. Hi, darling. How are you? We're trying to get a little man. Get a little man. In his little sling. It is made for a person a little bit smaller than daddy. Carry. Just a touch. Okay, so we were actually on the line about whether we should keep taking the pram or not but given the fact we have this kind of terrain underneath our feet right now I think it's safe to say we made the right call to put this little guy in a carrier and we shall be rewarded with some pretty amazing views of the waterfalls oh, If we survive all this, we will I'm being dramatic
this is not exactly the best place to be vlogging in because of all the wind but okay one hour on the road and then another 10 minutes of pretty high incline on the rocks but this view is definitely worth it